time. All right, so let's go. Into the Cave of Monsters. Yeah, I think Bubble Bobble was a very fine game. There are a lot of good ports of it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I was too close to them, and I popped them all. <laughs> I wanted to get them all together and then pop them all at once, because you get a bonus that way. I also want that diamond. waiting for them to get in place. See, there we go. That level I got. Uh, why is it hard to do addition while I'm <laughs> playing Bubble Bobble? Let's get that gem over there. And hopefully we can just wait for them all to settle here, but... They might start getting angry. So far, so good. Let's go. Ah! Can I get... Is that a persimmon? I missed half the fruit there. Oh no! Too close. Ooh, a carrot. Only worth 200. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. I'm not used to them floating up there. So the other thing... This is the first time I'm streaming from... Uh, I had to replace my NES. I think the power supply is dying on my my other NES. But this one seems to be working fine. And I also got a, a CRT, which is on my desk now, so I can finally play things with without all the lag that I'm used to. maybe be an advantage here. I probably should have used the water on them. Because I think the diamonds they drop are more valuable than the fruits. That's a pepper. Oh, I didn't even get it. Alright. Here we go. What? How do I miss one like that? grapes at least. Ooh, look at that candy. That seems to be... I don't know what that did. It looked green on my... my CRT needs some tuning. Probably needs a whole recap. Um, so I, I just finished playing through the second Master System version of the game. I was so worried about a coconut they were going to throw. Um, which had a bunch of like extra secrets and stuff. I don't think I can get to any of these, can I? Oh, well, I got some of them. Um, it was a really neat port of the game. The NES port seems to be based on it, except they took out all the secrets. Which is... an odd choice. I went well, I think. Ooh, cherry and mushroom. Um... But... I always wondered about like some of the levels in the NES game, like why they were different from the arcade. And um, what I realized is they were bonus levels, 
in the Master System version um, that you didn't get in the first 100 levels, like the second 100 levels, instead of just making a harder version of the first 100 levels. Watch out for the beluga. There's a bunch of names for that enemy. Baron... Baron Von Blubba. I think they get called a beluga. And, uh... Skelmonsta is like the original name. What do you mean these things? These are just monsta in the original. I'm used to calling them as sharks. That's what I always called them as a kid. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was... Miraculous. Um, that's a bad idea. Oh no. Oh, please don't come down here. I gotta get out of here before the port comes back. Oh, let's get that D. Get that D. The D. Um, so, like, the Master System version had 100 levels, and then in the arcade, you're supposed to figure out a secret and then put in a code to do 100 more levels, and then if you beat that, um, you get... You put in the code and there are 100 hard levels, and then if you beat that... And the way that they're hard is just that the enemies are changed, like they just switch one enemy for another. Okay, so I need to blow a lot of bubbles before this level ends. There we go. Or a pile of diamonds. If I don't get the big one, oh no. What a waste! Um, so it was just 100 levels of swapped enemies, and then you get the true ending. That's how the um, arcade version did it. Oh, I missed the crown. I don't want the umbrella, because I want lots of time to get more points. But, um, so the, the Master System version instead added a whole bunch of extra secrets, and then instead of just 100 harder levels, they did 100 um, levels with the occasional new level. So most of them were just the harder level, but some of them were new. And it looks like they took those new levels and then made them the regular levels of the NES version. Or at least some of them. Which is kind of weird. But then they didn't keep any of the secrets. end up there? Oh well, too late. I've got them all stuck up there. I'm gonna be angry in a moment. Safe? There we go. Hi there, Kane32. Capsule J. How's it going? There's 474. Hope you're having a good evening. Playing some Bubble Bottle. And I'm playing for points tonight. The score I'm trying to beat is something like 1.29 million. Get that? Yeah. Set by Nudes of Dudes. Oh, I have another chance at the necklace. Let's go grab that necklace. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there they are. Down there. So far, I haven't lost a life. But, we're not really. Uh, oh, this guy's getting chaotic. We're not really at the hard levels yet. 
How many tries? This is my first attempt. I get I get three attempts. All right, have a good night, Capsule J. We thank you for the raid. If I didn't say it, I was thinking it at least. It's hard to concentrate on bubble bobble and keep up with other things going on. Hmm. Thought I could hit him. Oh, there we go. No! <laughs> Almost fell in the pit. Just barely. Yeah, level 19 is pretty tough. So if this was the arcade version, I would be getting a secret appearing. Um, at the top. Oh, look, it's McDonald's fries. But this is the NES version, which has no secrets. Uh, but like a secret door would be appearing at the top, because I just did the first 20 levels with no deaths. Okay, so I'm at 300,000 at 20 levels. So if I can get to about level 60 at this pace, I can, I can get the high score. Oh no, they're stuck in there. Oh, they're gonna get mad. I'm gonna lose a life here. Unless I can get around there fast enough. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, didn't expect to make it out of that. Um, okay, they've gone in there. They're going to be tricky to get out, because the enemies don't tend to jump up unless you're above them. Try and free them here. Put that one out. Okay. Good shot here. Put this one through the wall. Oh no! It's the worst spot. Um... Out, maybe he'll do a jump and I can. There we go. Ah! Up! <laughs> there we go. That's our first Skell monster of the night. Hi there, Persnickety Sea Cow. How's it going? Ooh, more candy. Okay, I think that was the long bubbles. Sometimes hard to hit them all. Looks like I might have to switch sides for a moment. Uh, this one. Maybe this will hit? Nope. Oh, too high. Really hard to aim it. I think I'm going to go for the backup. Oh no, that looks dangerous. <laughs> oh. That was dangerous. Just before it would have like smashed into my head and <laughs> that would have been the first life lost. Okay. What have we got here? We got a carrot. These ones are all coming down the chimney. Oh, do I want that? Pick the wrong side. The nice pepper is over on the other side. So th this again, so this is the second level that I think is different from the arcade. Um, 
And this level is from the Master System version. What is that box? I don't know what that box does. I gotta get it. Kinda reminds me of the silver box which would cause the diamond to appear, but... Earlier I had the diamond appear from a candy cane, which... Made me think that box doesn't exist in this version. Oh, do I get them? Oh, there's the diamond. Wonderful. Was that only 10,000? Hmm. Popcorn. Like this level. A very fun theme. Oh, but I'm not going to get to do it because I got the check and heart by accident. But that's good too because that'll get a bunch of points. It's interesting that they turned into crowns. Oh, this is a hard level. No time for a sip. What? Oh, I, oh. oh, I was standing on fire. I thought I got hit. Wow, okay. So there was like a fire like like this, and I thought I got hit because, um, you know, Bob was making that pained expression on his face. Okay, this level, yeah, I believe this is one of the Master System extra levels. Whoa, why, why did that come through there? Everything's working oddly. Okay, so now I gotta get over. There's a secret hole in the floor there. That's weird. I didn't think this game had secret holes. Okay, that was a weird level. Okay, now we get another perfectly normal level. Bam! Are these worth points? Oh, I don't get to find out. This is a new level. I tend not to like these extra levels though, because they... They seem oddly designed in general. Whoa, like... In the context of the Master System version, they were... Oh, whoa, that almost was a disaster. In the context of the Master System version, they're kind of like bonus levels. So I don't mind that they're replacing like some of the good arcade levels, but in, in this one you don't have the original level in the first... There's no first and second loop. coming that way. Okay, I'll get that one. Oops. Uh, I guess we can get it on the way up. There we go. So, again, if this were the arcade version, I would be getting a secret door uh, appearing at the top right of this level. So in this version. Oh. There it is. Okay, so 560, 570. Score is pretty good. Give me lightning. That'll give me a bunch of nice. Oh, they're cakes or diamonds? I guess that's correct. Cakes or diamonds? That's weird. I was expecting only diamonds. What's the challenge of this bubble? Do I have to bo bobble it? Uh, yes, the challenge is a high score challenge. What? They come out? Okay, I want the book. There we go.
Okay, so... I passed halfway. This is one of the levels that plays out weirdly in different versions, so... Not sure quite how things are going to go down. Oh no, it's breaking out. Okay, so... I want that fire here. <laughs> what? There's still a bubble out there. Is it gonna get up here? No, now it's somewhere vexing. That was lucky. That was really lucky. Oh. A lot of condensation on my drink. I missed the diamond there. So my goal is to beat 1,290,000 points, basically. Um, oh, there's a bomb. Popsicles. Popsicles and diamonds. Jump. Okay, this level tends to be... Uh, tough. Let's see if this technique... Ah, oh, Okay, so I discovered this technique the last time I played, and it seems to work perfectly here. So anyhow, so I try and blow a bubble right in the middle, and rise through the middle of the screen, and I don't know why that works, but it does. Okay, so now I gotta get up there before pop, and it's harder because I got all these. First death. First death at level 36. And I've lost my powered up bubbles. The powered up bubbles were kind of working against me here because it's hard to land one in the center this way. Because then I could just jump up here. See, that would have been a lot easier, but I couldn't do that with the long ones. Or the ones that are both fast and long. They just go too far. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, this is another level that gets weird between versions, so... Um... Don't want a flame right there. Okay, that worked really well. So, let's see if I can carefully... Nope. Hmm. I decided my best bet was just to time it. So, the idea should be to push a flame bubble over to the side. But it seems really hard to push them in this version. It was always hard to push them, but even harder, it seemed. <laughs> uh, this level should be a piece of cake. Oh no! <gasps> if I can't get that to... <gasps> I thought they were already... ...taken care of. <laughs> I was wrong. I didn't realize <laughs> they were stuck on the right half. So 
somehow I didn't look before I leaped. Oh, I can't blow a bubble while I'm in my inflamed state. That's interesting. Okay, so I just need to jump over this flame and pop it on the way back. There we go. Level complete. Where's that diamond in that? It's not diamond, it's like a collection of gems. A natural gemstone. Oh. Is this a master system level? Okay, I want that bomb. Okay. So there's like secret fall roots. Which I don't think Oh no! I didn't think it was coming down there. This level has flames? That's odd. It also has a vent at the top. A donut? What is that? 300 points. Okay. Another extra level. Uh, I'm not liking it because they're going to shoot fireballs at me. Maybe? Okay, so I really want this candy cane. Oh, that's the fireball sound. I wonder what that sound was. Nice. That was 42. Uh, this level is very unfamiliar. Um, I am scared of it. Is that enemy stuck up there now, or am I supposed to get this? Gill, I guess, is the answer. Seems like I, I can fall into these gaps. Aww. Hmm. That felt like I was robbed a little. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hassled here. I was very lucky. Okay, I don't think I've seen that level before. I'm not... I don't think that was in the Master System one. Okay, this level tends to be a paint. Why is there a shark in it? Oh, give me that... check and heart. Delicious 5,000 point crowns. Okay, so we're at 900,000 points. Bonnebo gets a, a special level. Oh, there's another Chack and Heart. Um, gotta get up there safe. Ah, oh, no, I don't think I can get it in time. Wow, this this is a weird level. Okay, where are the bubbles going? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi there, Brigand. How's it going? Oh, it's ouch. This level is always a terror. 
Oh. Uh, I should grab that candy. Yeah, that's lung bubbles. Probably quite a good thing to have for this particular stage. Last life. And I've got 300,000 points to go. I, I haven't seen the yellow tea yet. If I did that right. I don't think I can get these gems in time. Nope. Okay, so this was Not bad. That felt different than the uh, 57. <laughs> uh, I think I know which level is 57. Hmm. I don't think the pearls will help me in this level. Oh, I got French fried. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to 57. Okay, so I guess I can get them from over here. Of course, now they start going the other way. Oh, somehow my bubble got through there. Where's that bubble going? Through the wall. There we go. Have some fries. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah, this is another one of those Master System bonus levels. Seems that blowing a bubble through a wall is harder in the NES version than most other versions. This could be it. That was it. <laughs> Nine six six five thirty. That was the first run. So where did I get? Was that round 50? I'm just going to keep going. Finish out the game. I can't select round. I thought I could do that. Oh, there it is, B and A. So I got to round 50. Let's just finish the game. I feel like seeing the rest of it. Okay, so I should have gotten all three at once, I think. That 
that's okay. Second pass, and then third pass you get into the center, so this level isn't that bad, but... I'd only seen it once before. Fifty-one. Okay, so now we're back to real arcade levels. Okay, I wish this pearl necklace actually did what it was supposed to, but... Makes me wonder what it does do in this game. Or is it just a one-up? Is it a one-up? Is that what I just got? That's okay, lives don't really matter so much anymore, because just finishing it out. Yeah, this is another Master System bonus stage. Oof. What is with these fast bubbles? Okay, I would like to get that uh, thing over there. Oh, I got it. What is... Yeah, I don't like all these bonus stages that were inserted into the game, but... to be a tricky level. Hey, I sort of free Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's better to attack from this side or depends if you can get timing on the level. Okay, come back down. Too bad. What do we got? Grab that. That seems to be the fast bubble. The so red is long bubble, green is fast bubble. I don't know if it's actually green. I Monitor isn't calibrated super well. I still feel like I'm in the plane for po points mode. Okay, here's stage 57. Oh. Ooh, don't give you much time here. Okay. Oh no, the power up is gonna work against me here. Okay, so. <laughs> This works differently than it is supposed to. Um, so I'm just gonna YOLO up the side, I guess? Okay, let's see if I can. The bubbles blown off the ground from the center here should be blowing back toward me. That's how this level was designed. <laughs> 
so I don't know how to do it in this stage. Or in, in this version. Which appears to be broken. Okay, so these have fixed timing. But I don't have time to get up before they... Oh, hang on. There we go. That's the solution. So it works differently in this version. It works a lot differently in this version than Master System 1, which... Oh, well, I'm gonna get out of my way. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, I managed to ceiling bubble it. Okay, so that's stage 57. <laughs> the NES version. Definitely wouldn't have got that the first time. Yeah, it works very different in this version than in its original form, which was the Master System form. But it is supposed to be one of those extra bonus levels in the Master System one, so it's kind of weird that they throw it at you here. So the Master System one, you, like you, bubbles blown not on the floor uh, would float back towards the center. That was how that room worked. Okay, so the pearl necklaces are just a one-up in this version. Um, can I pop some of these, maybe? These ridiculously fast bubbles. Little Bob. Little Bob, that's a good drop. <laughs> Thanks, Junkyard Dave. I am just playing casually. Um, I was doing a challenge run earlier. Wait! Oh, it finally worked! Why does that... Why did that item finally do something? It's been doing nothing all game. And now finally it's doing the thing that it should be doing. It gave me like a 1-up in the last stage instead. That's odd. How are you doing, Junkyard Dave? Hope you're having a good evening. There we go. An interesting drawing of the, the invader enemy. So the challenge was to get more than 100 and, or 1 million 290 thousand points in a in a one credit run, which I did not do. I had three attempts to do it. I got like 900 thousand and something. But now that the the challenge is over, I just feel like playing the rest of the game. 
haven't played through NES Bubble Bobble in two years, and I've been through three other versions of Bubble Bobble recently, so I thought this one might be fun too. Oh. These enemies seem to be less... I feel like they are on a regular timer and they're random in the arcade. Uh, which one do I like best? Um, I want to say objectively the Master System version, um, like the Japanese Master System version, is probably the best for a single player. Um, wow. That round went really weirdly. I don't think they can get out of the faucet in the arcade. Like, them coming out here, I was not expecting that. I don't think I've seen that. But I don't recall quite. Um... But yeah, like the Master System version adds a lot of cool secrets and it adds this continue feature. Like the NES version is based on the Master System version and then is like missing a bunch of stuff. And it's weird having... So the, so the Japanese Master System version is the best because it gives you... It actually gives you hints on how to proceed through the game. Uh, whereas the European version, they just didn't translate the hints, so you're just left to figure it all out on your own. Uh, Master System version came out before the NES version. The NES version is, is based on the Master System version. And what they did was they took... Uh, hang on a second. So, the Master System version didn't come out in North America. The Japanese version was really good for a single player. Um, it has the con this continue system, they added a whole bunch of secrets and codes and stuff, and they added a whole hint system to guide you through the secrets and stuff. So that was the Japanese version. The European version took that, threw away the hints, so you were on your own. And then they never released it in North America, which is sad. I think the Game Gear version is basically that version, uh, but a lot of the levels are all shrunk, so they're similar but simplified. They kind of play weirdly. Um, and then, so I played through that one recently. I translated the Japanese version. I just released a patch, so I did a playthrough of that just to see what it was like, and it was really neat. Uh, so it does 100 levels that are basically the arcade levels, but they added two new bosses. And then you get the second 100 levels, which in the arcade was um, just a hard version of all the... It was the same levels with different enemies, like they just... Shark enemy becomes these butterfly pinwheel pole pole enemy. Uh, like there's just substitutions like that. And... Um, so you just do 100 levels, and if you beat that two-player, you get the true ending. Um, what the Master System version did was instead, they give you those 100 levels, but they replaced a, a, like maybe 10 or 20 of them with, with special new levels. The special new levels aren't great levels, but they're cool as a replacement, uh, for like as a bonus, because you're in the second half, you've already seen all the levels. Whereas... In the NES version, since it's based on the Master System version, they took the second hundred level design for some reason. And so we get all of those levels in the NES version instead of the hundred that were based on the arcade, which is weird. But then they threw away the secrets, they threw away the extra bosses. Um, I don't know, and that's the NES version. So... I don't know. My favorite version is either the Atari ST version, which is basically identical to the Amiga version, or it's the Master System version. The arcade version also, I don't know, kind of a tie between all three of those. Okay, so this 
one is playing weird. Um, something new they decided in the NES version was some of these levels they just put areas you can walk through. Like this you couldn't do in the Master System version. Um, this level might be changed from that version too, I'm not sure. That level's a little weird to me. Um, <laughs> I looked away. The wrong moment. Alright. Um, so you so you get all these weird levels in the NES version, which were supposed to just be kind of extra bonus levels. Okay, this is something bizarre. I've never seen this. I don't think this is even in the, the Master System version. There's been a couple levels where... You just don't know what's going on. Okay, that was a bad jump. So, stage stage 57 is one of those. Like, it was supposed to be an extra hard bonus challenge in the Master System version, and then it just became a regular level in this one. But they also took away the way to solve it, and gave you a new way to solve it, I guess. Like, what I just did, um, well, I don't know if it would work again, but it seems like it would. Um, but the bubbles were supposed to blow back toward the middle, and it was still a difficult puzzle that way, they just made it a harder puzzle <laughs> in this version. Hmm, I think I can get to that big diamond in time. Yo, Suke? Uh, somebody's put their name on this level. This level would have said... It would have... I think this level would have... No, this level... Is this the level that said drunk at the top? No, it would have been full of drunks. I'm trying to remember which level this is in the arcade. Uh... Like, I think this was 75 in the arcade, but I can't remember what it said along the top. It might have been someone's name. Oops. Didn't really want to break that yet. Hmm, that's not quite where I want it to be. Okay. Third time's a charm. I guess that's the fourth one. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm continuing. Um, yeah, a lot of the later levels are developer names, like they were in the arcade. Uh, and some, in some versions they change those around and put different names in them. Um... In other versions, they left them intact. Like, the Atari ST and Amiga versions left things very intact. What I would say about the Atari ST version, it plays slower. Um, partly because it's 50 hertz, but also... Um, it plays slower in the other dimension, where it runs at 25 frames per second, actually, because I guess I couldn't make it run solidly at 50. Um, but the graphics are really nice in that version. They're almost as good as the arcade. There's a little bit of animation stuff missing. And um, the Atari ST version was the first version I had as a kid. That That's kind of the one I knew most. Okay, so this 
level is gonna be a pain. No, I mistimed that. Oh! Somehow I didn't mistime that. No, I did mistime it. Okay. So this level is hard because the enemies don't stay in their bubbles for very long. Now normally you want to bubble up the side here, but they've made the path this bubble vexing. What if I blow it here? No. So, like, they've ruined the way I solve this level <laughs> in either the arcade or Master like all the other versions. There we go. That's, like, I want to do that. I can't seem to pull it off in this version. Because the bubbles are blowing around in a weird way. So there's a lot of lo the, the levels that are like the trickiest puzzles and stuff tend to vary a lot from port to port. Like they're just not robust against the minute differences you get in the mechanics of everything. But generally, like the solution to this level. Okay, so it works on the right hand side, but not the left hand side. Or. Well, no, that should be good enough. Yeah, the bubbles just weren't... The airflow of the bubbles is just a little bit off on the left-hand side and made it hard in this version. So there again, the pearl necklace gave me a 1-up instead of... a thing that destroys enemies. They've put two extra enemies into this level. Interesting. It should be just the bunny bow, like the dogs on springs. Um, I don't know what they did with that. So this level is a terrible puzzle in the arcade. Really hard to figure out. Oh! And they've just given me an out. Let's see. No, you can jump, just jump through the walls in this version. So, they made it easier in this version. Hmm. Can I get up there? So, I need to ride some water down here, but now that all the water is getting stuck over there. Oh, I can go across in here in this version. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Actually, that lightning would do the trick if I could afford to wait for this. <laughs> Almost got it. Okay. What's the final boss in the Master System one? The final boss is the same in all the games. I don't think anybody changed the final boss. So if I tell you what the final boss is, it, it'll be the final boss of every Bubble Bobble game that I've seen. Which at this point is about five different Bubble Bobbles. I've played the C64 one briefly. Please come down. Have a party. There we go. You can kill him almost instantly? Okay, I haven't heard of a glitch for an instant kill. This level has the wrong enemies inside. That's weird. They should be Mitas. Weird.
Um, so a point for the Ma Atari ST version is that it kept the secrets, like the, the really hard to get secret, in the game, in that, like, if you play for 20 levels without dying, a secret door appears. Um, but it removed the multiple endings, which the, sec the secret door, the stuff behind the secret door was supposed to be, like, a clue on how to unlock it, but it was at least there. It had a secret alphabet and, like, some words to decode. Um... So I like that that was kept in that version, because you missed it in the in the NES version. They just got rid of all the secrets altogether. Though I think they do keep um, the idea that beating the game in two-player is the happy ending, and then beating the game one-player is the sad ending. Um, which the arcade did. So the Atari ST version only had one ending, and it's kind of weird and cryptic ending. And it like implies that maybe there could be a better ending, but there isn't. There's only one ending. It doesn't matter how you beat it. It doesn't matter if you get the secrets or not. You can play the game Deathless, it doesn't change anything. Um, okay, that didn't work out. Maybe I'll just grab this. Oh, that's not an umbrella. I thought that was an umbrella. Uh, I think they're coming too fast for me. Let, let's see if I can... Nope. Made it through. Okay. So, what's the, the glitch for the instant kill? I've not... I've not seen that. I haven't watched an NES speedrun. Whoa, what is this level? I think this is new to this version. Um, I don't remember this one in the Master System version. <laughs> Taro. I think this level might have said Rastan in the Master System version. Which is really weird, because they didn't release Rastan for, for Mark III in Japan, I don't think. I think that only came out in Europe and North America. Oh, I mean, it still would have been in the arcades. Okay, here's another completely new level. Or is this the shark just going to come down and kill me? How did I not die to that? Okay, suddenly I, I accidentally touched a book. How was I going to get into the... There must be a, a hidden floor. So, the arcade game did not have hidden floors. Oh. Wait, why did they just climb out at the beginning? That's... That's not a thing they do in other versions. Oh, no. Missed getting that bomb. health from... You shoot a normal bubble and pop it in his hitbox. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, this level was always a nightmare. Uh... Like in the arcade version especially, because you had the least amount of time 
uh, before they break out of their bubbles. Here you have a little bit more time than the Master System version, I think. Okay, so... Okay, I need to... So what happens is when your bubbles circulate... Oh, okay, so this is working a little weirdly in this version. There we go. That's what I need. I need a bubble right there so I can bounce on it through the wall and get that enemy. And then you gotta hope they don't fall into like the bottom right or bottom left corner. Because they'll get stuck there and they're really hard to go after that way. Not impossible! I've somehow done it twice, but it felt like a miracle every time it happened. Oh no, I moved. Might be doomed. Oh no. In the arcade, I think this level, if you move one pixel out of there... PMDC, that's different. Okay, the name in this level was Kimi in the arcade, and I think it was Taka in the Master System version, and now it's PMDC. So my strategy in the arcade version was to hang at the left and hope they randomly don't hit you. In the NES version, I think they just drop... Um, their french fry attack at a fixed rate, so I think there's no chance to not get hit if you just wait over there. But on the other hand, well this says Darius, that, that's what it said in the um, Master System version. This level in the arcade was called Dead Heat. Uh, okay, that went oddly. Um, <laughs> I'm stuck up here. And it was easier to get around. So, like most most of the like levels that I thought that were changed for the master system, I thought were changed for the worse. But it's not many of them, and especially since so many of them were just bonus extra levels, and you still got the original level in the game. It didn't. It was cool. In this version, it's weird to have like just all of those as the first class levels and because in general I don't think they're as good as the originals. It's stuck in the letters again. Is it gonna get in the box? Like what's gonna happen here? There it goes. Uh that might be okay, because I can get through Right here. There we go. So I don't know what this picture is. It doesn't look like something from Darius that I'm aware of. STA. This had different... I think this level was called RI for Rainbow Islands. Uh, in the Master System version, and it was a rainbow, not a snail. They've they've completed the curve of the rainbow to make a snail. And in the arcade version, it said uh, HC, and it was just a big open space, other than the two levels. This is really weird to get around. Like, when it was a rainbow, you could kind of stand under it and... But here, it's just hard to navigate around the snail. Guess that one. Weirdly. Okay, so let's see how this level works. So this level tends to be a little bit broken in various versions. Um, 
what you want to do is mud nudge the flames. Oh, okay. No, oh, it worked perfectly in this version. Nudge the flames to... Like, they get stuck at certain points in this little maze here. Here they're not getting stuck at the right points. But that's okay. It still works. <laughs> now this level in the arcade... The strategy is to kind of do that. Pile up bubbles under a flame so that you can safely pop them from underneath. And get a pop on the flame. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I'm going to succeed at it. <laughs> Basically that, but you want to pop underneath. The spacing is different. There we go. That's the solution. This level. So that works. Okay, so that's an okay. Versus the arcade. What is this? This is new. Oh no. Okay, that that ability actually just like made the level impossible for me cuz you got to This one doesn't seem so bad at all cuz the bubbles float up. It's not like 57 where nothing goes the way it should. Uh but after I beat the game I'll Oh, this is the problem. <laughs> Getting back down, eh? Okay, that's a little advanced. <laughs> Going through the ceiling. Uh, this is new. Whoa! whoa what? I, I. What is going on in this level? Oh, hidden path. It's a hidden maze of some sort. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna fall to my death. Okay, so... Wow. This is nonsense. So, it seems what I want to do is drop a flame into that central shaft. So, oh, what? What? How did the shark get... I, mean, I didn't pop it. So I don't want to fall down there, but I want to... There we go. There we go. So that's not so bad. Weird. So there were, there were no hidden things like this in the arcade or the Master System version. Like they, they decided that was that's a new mechanic they added. Okay, here's another new level. So we're getting a lot of new levels here. This just looks weird. I don't... Wait, what to think of it? Okay, so you don't have much time to pop them, but everything flows down this path here. That's a weird level. ST. Okay, this said... I think IF before. So I've been avoiding taking the umbrellas. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, this level seems like it's gonna be... Oh, wow. So this level looks like it did in the arcade, but... The bubbles are moving oddly. Um, you did tend to get drunk stuck up there in the welcome. OK, 
Okay, so I've got 7654. I should go back to 93. I think it was 92 I took the umbrella. Okay, so let's see how this famous level works. Okay. First step. Okay. What? Why isn't it getting killed? No! <laughs> I almost did it in one life. Okay, so I want to... Uh, let's just try 57 again. So I want to see if that's a repeatable technique, what I did. I think it should be, though. Hi there, James Ed Smith. Oops. Wasn't watching the ground, but basically just blew a pile of bubbles here. And then... A, oh, that, that's... not helpful. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I got lucky and they didn't pop when I jumped on them. <laughs> okay, the pile wasn't high enough, so you gotta hope that they keep... Oh, I see. You gotta hope that they keep growing. And then there's a technique to kind of standing under the bubble as you blow them. You want, like, just the right number of bubbles. Yeah, okay, so the solution I had is pretty fragile. It's repeatable, but there we go. That's what you do. So you blow enough bubbles that you can s step on top, but not pop them. And then finally, uh, you... What are you doing here? <laughs> well, that's fine. Um, looks like the password doesn't change if I go back, so that's fine. Uh, so I think it was 92 I got the umbrella, so I should go back there. But anyhow, so, yeah, blow a stack of bubbles, but not too many. I, I think I blew seven that time. Jump on it. If they're not too high, you won't pop them. And then as you keep jumping, the stack unfurls and gets higher. And then once you're high enough that there's a wall in your way, you can, as you're jumping up, you can blow a bubble and then land on it. It'll end up underneath you, uh, a bubble that you blow against the wall. So that is not how that level worked in the Master System version, where which is the original version of that level, because it was not an arcade level. The like the airflow was very different in that room. Um, and what happened was if you were off the ground, the, the bubbles would... Wow, they just come for you. Um... If you blow bubbles off the ground and in the middle area of the room, they come back to center. So what you can do is blow a bubble at the bottom middle and start bouncing on it, and then you blow bubbles in the air. Okay, so this level should say... I'm trying to remember what the initials were. N-S-O, originally. So K-Z-M has replaced them with their initials, I guess. This is actually a level from the arcade. Uh, it's working a little differently, but kind of the same.
close enough. I'll call this one close enough. Oh, did I get hit? Okay. What level was that? 94? No. <laughs> There's 95. This level was a little bit broken in the Master System version. They'd all get stuck on the bottom row. And not be able to jump out. That's interesting that that bubble sticks in that corner. Also interesting that you can just jump just one bounce uh, straight up. So in the arcade there was a whole thing where you had to turn around in each each hole. And you had to do like multiple bounces between holes. There was more vertical space, I guess, on the screen in the arcade. Um, so you had to turn around in the tight space and then bounce again. And I don't know, it was really tricky. Okay, so... This level, I always had problems... Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's kind of, like, broken in this version. Um... Wow. It went to the wrong level. <laughs> so what was that? 97? Uh... I don't... There's there's no level that I think that is the case for Enigma Wave. Uh, most of the replaced levels in this one were from the Master System version. Um, and the levels that are replaced I don't think are things that wouldn't be doable in this version. Um, like, they added new things to the engine in this version. Okay, <laughs> so... One. Pop this flame in some convenient way. No. Nope. Now all the flames are on the wrong side. Ooh, I might get some back. Nope. That one came back. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I think I was 97. Oh, no, I was 96. So I haven't figured out how to beat 96 in this version yet. Well, now I won't see what 97 is. <laughs> uh, but no, most of, the, most of the replaced levels in this version came from the Master System version, where they were replaced in the second loop of the game uh, as an extra bonus. Which I think is kind of a shame, because it, it um, took away from a lot of the good levels that were probably better than the ones they were replaced by. Okay, with four lives this level should be no problem. So, there. That's ideally what you want to see happen. Uh, the next thing, you need to jump over the center because the middle that wrong. Um, the middle of, like, between screens, there's no collision there, and that's something you're supposed to figure out for this level.
Oh. Okay. Two lives for the last one should be fine. So what I want to do is get to the top here, but... Okay, maybe I... Overconfident with that estimate. Um, oh no, don't. So you can kind of inch your way over every time you fall. Uh, I did that wrong again. That's interesting. Okay. So what am I going to do here? If I can fall in exactly the right spot, I can blow a bubble on it when I'm falling. It's hard to stop on exactly the right spot. Nope. There we go. So instead I have to get up there and hope that I can pop this flame and make it go down, but be able to do that. And there we go. Okay. So what was the round I didn't beat? 96? Yeah, I didn't figure out how to beat this in this version. Um, okay, that was a bad start. So normally you're supposed to fall down here. Um, and then you should continue falling straight down. This should not be solid. So... I actually don't know how they intend you to beat this version. Can't reach that. Like, maybe you could jump over, get it from the other side. But, like, I can't get close enough to the wall to fall through. Like, you should be able to fall straight down here, and from that position you should be able to blow a bubble through the wall to hit them? Okay, so I can make my own way, I guess, if I do this. There we go. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull that off. Now, where do you stand to not get hit at the start? So what I want to do is to fall back down here. I guess these will help. Blow bubble in the wall to make your own path. But what bothers me is like the whole arrows pointing to exactly where you're supposed to fall that like tell you how to beat this level in the arcade and other versions. It doesn't work in this version. That's strange. Okay, so this level... Uh, I got a bypass for... Oop. Hmm. So in the arcade, this level did not have... Um... Hurry up, timeout. Whoa. And the... These did not go over here, so you could not use these from this side. Hmm. Okay, they changed this level severely. Like, there was a whole bubble flow problem. Hurry Up did not happen in this level. They specifically made it like this puzzle you could sit on for a long time to figure out. So that's very changed. Um... Yeah, that's useless in this level. Actually, maybe not entirely. It goes through walls? Okay, so now I've beaten every round except 99. I got good at 99 in the Master System version uh, because you have to collect three special items. Um, to proceed to the, the final boss. 
Okay, so if I pop this... Nope, okay, it didn't fall where you want it. Getting the flames to fall through that gap is really hard on many versions of this game, it seems. No, that was good over far enough. Making the perfect jump into the center is hard, because you're doing it off screen. Somehow that worked. Should not have, but it did. Oh no! <laughs> I accidentally went to the first level. It's okay. We'll get there back there in a moment. Oh, why am I playing the level? I want to. Get back, so I end it quickly. Get that middle jump down. That seems harder in this version. I never know when the, the monster is going to come down instead of. Do not like how oh, this flame is working. Uh, maybe that enemy will end up somewhere. did not feel like a repeatable solution. Are they going to come down this corner or not? That was lucky. That was very lucky. Okay, well, <laughs> it beat this level. It seems trickier than the arcade to drop through that hole. Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting it to make me fast like that. Oh, that's weird. The continue screen changed. Okay, it's going to come up and right to start with. I don't think it does that in any other version. It doesn't give you fast bubble like it does in the other versions. Interesting. But it gives you speed up. Oof. I get used to the timing. Misplaced name. Okay, the boss seems about... about right. I think it throws...
fewer bottles than other versions, but I don't think it matters. In the in the ST and Amiga version, it does, the Super Drunk doesn't throw bottles at all, which is kind of weird. But also, you move much slower, so it's harder to avoid. Kind of an extra life. Yeah, I figured that was dangerous. This boss shouldn't be too tough. I should be able to get used to the pattern and do it deathless if I wanted, but not used to this version yet. I got pretty good at the Master System version. So if you're quick, you can just get up and down. Like, I I felt I made a mistake there. Because the strategy I had decided on was to jump over it to the right. would shoot again that fast. I can't tell if it's shooting at a regular pace or is it like random. If I wanted to go this way. That's safer. Huh. It's not a regular timing, is it? It's randomized. It just sometimes throws them more often and sometimes less often. Let me guess in here. Hmm. 
Look at that, like, three volleys in a row. <laughs> okay. But it's weird how... Oh, you know what? I should have the second controller. Hang on. Have the second controller plugged in. Just for a good ending. I can do that, right? No? Or maybe I can't. I thought you could press start to bring in the second player. Maybe I'm just thinking of the arcade version. This is, uh... Yeah, but I'm not sure the two-player continue option is what I want, because that brings the two-player second player in, you know? And they're not going to survive to the end of the battle. Continue with them now, so it, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't think I'd be able to do that with just myself. I'm not up to con two controllers, one player. But it does seem you, you could do it that way, yeah. So I have to be conservative in how I play this in that I need to make sure I can avoid their bottles at all times because they might throw extra volleys of them without warning. So this is definitely harder than the Master System version. I was hesitant to say that at first, but... And I'm pretty sure the arcade version was also, like, regularly spaced attacks. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. So I think this is actually the hardest version of this boss that I've played. Atari ST and Amiga version just don't have, uh, they don't throw the bottles. Already threw away life. I like how this room's made of skulls in this version, that's an interesting touch.
Nice to have like a boss life me oh boss life meter, I was trying to say. Thought it was doing so well and then I just die like twice in a row. There's a number. Is there? I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Thank you. There is a boss life meter. Oh. So once it hits 30, that's the extra life. Oh no. Should not have stayed. getting better. <laughs> At least I thought I was getting better. Oh. From the disaster. Interesting that your regular bubbles come back around. So I guess with the glitch Junkyard Day was talking about, you could probably one player, two controllers, the ending, the whole practice, yeah. get through that.
Wait for it to go. There we go. No. Oh. Okay. That was luck. get lucky, or not lucky, you get good at seeing where it's going to move diagonally, that's half the battle, but then you have to get good at positioning yourself in such a way that you can avoid the bottles whenever they come, because they come randomly, rather than regularly. is when it's coming low and it's gonna come into the corner at you. You wanna be as far as you can from it. You have time to dodge. So here it's fine. The opportunity. I'm starting to feel pretty good about it. Oh! Also, speed change when you get the lightning power up is... me off again when I don't have it. Okay, we're at two lives. Twenty-one. I think I could have just stood under it. Ah. Oh. Seventeen. So that was a good run. Stand there. Okay. I'm okay. Surprised I didn't lose life getting that one. The other thing is, you get stunned when you pop your lightning bubbles. So if you're in a bad position. When you pop one, See, this is the wrong side to be on. But I was lucky. Thank you. 
Um... I think you get stunned by the, the bubble when you pop it, and all the versions I've played, except maybe the Atari ST version. But the problem is just that I can't, with the random um, bottles, I can't ensure that there is a safe time to pop it as easily. Like in other versions, you know when the bottles are coming, and you can use them to, def to deflect the bottles as well. You, c you can use them to deflect bottles here, but it's like by the time you know that the bottles are coming, because they're not regular, um, it's kind of too late to make a decision and, a and time a, a response to knock them out of the air, so... You know, you can't really do that in this version. Could have easily gotten hit by it. Got lucky. There, I got lucky. Hadn't really left myself enough space, but sometimes squeak under. This one's kind of bad. Well, I guess that's okay. Six. Okay, we're doing really well now. One. <laughs> oh no. Kind of a nightmare situation. Just need one more hit. There we go. Boom. Time for a bad ending. Take the magical crystal ball, and you will find the door to Secret Road. Crystal ball? Wait, did I need to get the crystal ball on stage 99? Is there a secret in this version? I read that there wasn't. That's kind of curious. Oh, it's cleared my rounds. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. That's Bubble Bobble for the NES. That was fun to see again. So I like I don't think I've ever played all the levels before. Like, I've probably used an umbrella past some of the harder levels uh, and that kind of thing. Like, I, I definitely remember beating the final boss with a friend some years ago. But I don't think we, you know, we would have skipped levels and stuff like that. Today I was trying to see every level just because um, I wanted to see that they were all doable and what had changed since I've played this is this is the fourth version of Bubble Bobble I've played through in the last couple of weeks. It's been interesting seeing all the differences.